I'm telling you, buddy. You don't want nothing to do with this. Mommy, you do with this? Yeah, you don't want nothing to do with this. Fastball star, son. I'm leaving. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> so it is shop cleaning day. Not again. It's kind of like one of those perpetual things. If you have a business that has any kind of warehouse, you know it is a constant upkeep trying to keep the warehouse clean so cleaning up the shop or still continuing to clean up the shop again but i have a topic for today's vlog that is i, I normally i try not to be too ridiculously serious but i want to be as serious as i can be with this one because i didn't realize up until the past few days how serious this issue is and how much it affected me and i didn't even really know it like i knew it but I wanna talk about insecurity today. And I knew that I had some insecurities, but as a guy, we don't really think about those kind of things. We think, well, yeah, you know, like we'll recognize it a little bit, but we're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna tell people about it. But, you know, I, I realized how much my insecurities were keeping me from doing the things that I really wanted. Like I'm, I'm so, when you think about insecurities and you think about what they are, you know that they are just thoughts uh, in your head about faults that other people are having that they may not even really be having. So like when you think about it, I'm letting thoughts in my head about what other people might be thinking of me keep me from doing what I wanna do. We gotta talk about that. That's bananas in pajamas. You see these screws? They look all the same. Well, they're not. Look at this screw. See, this screw is pointy. This screw is not pointy. Somebody mixed all these screws together. So I take the not pointy screws and put them in this pile and take the pointy screws and put them in this bucket. That's what I'm doing. Sounds super, super interesting, eh? Not really. I don't think we need to spend a whole lot of time talking about insecurities. I think we pretty much all know what they are, what your own insecurities are. If you don't, like, I don't think you have to do a whole lot of soul searching. Like, just for instance, I have a huge insecurity that one day I will be talking, like vlogging, like talking to you guys, and there'll be like something on my shoulder or something. Like, I'll be, I'll be shooting this video and It'll be like, oh man, you know, I'll go back and look at the footage and I'll just look silly because there was something on my shoulder the whole time or something crazy like that. And I know that may seem like a crazy insecurity, but it's it's one of my it's one of my insecurities. I, I don't know how to get over it. I think about sometimes and I wonder how much even like insecurity is all the way down to how I see myself when I look in the mirror. Like would I actually be happy with what I look like when I see myself in the mirror, like my body image, if I wasn't comparing myself to other people? And comparison is nothing but insecurities. You know, well, I don't look like them. Well, if you like you, who cares? Well, they see them and then they see me and it's just, I'm just realizing how many, I don't know about you, maybe it's just me, maybe this is just something that I need to pray about, but I'm just realizing how much small thoughts of like how other people think and insecurities plague like every part of our life. This is one of those videos that I really would appreciate if you're watching this to leave a comment and say, yeah, I don't really worry about what other people think or yeah, I'm with you on that one. I, I am way too concerned about how other people see me and my image in other people's eyes. So kind of a boring vlogging day because Shauna had a huge to-do list that she needed to get done. So I stayed at home and watched the kids for most of the day, which makes for hilarious content for me, but boring content for you guys. But anyway, the more I meditate on this whole conversation of 
being insecure and being concerned about how other people see you and what other people are thinking about you is not just like a detrimental kind of thing to you and is not just like unhealthy. The more I think about it, the more I think that's a spiritually, that's a dangerous place to be because we're, I'm talking about small things, which in the grand scheme of life, spirituality and everything like that, I'm talking about small things like body image. Body image is a huge topic of conversation, and I know for some people that's not a that's not a small conversation. That's not a small thing. That's a big issue with some people. But in the grand scheme of our our life in Christ, it, it's a it's a small thing. In the grand scheme of eternity, your body image is a small thing. In the grand scheme of eternity, these things that are that are like we have insecure thoughts about and we're insecure about, they're small things. So how about the big question, the huge big scale thing, which is, are you going to completely dedicate your life to Jesus? That's a big thing. If we're wor- I said all that to say, if we're worried about the small scale, the small things, if we're concerned about what other people think about the, what is small things, where are we going to be with the big things like the, the, the eternity things? And if we say, yeah, but when it comes to that, of course, like, uh, yeah, like I may be worried about what other people think in this area, but of course, when it comes to Jesus, I, I don't care what they think. And it's like, the only reason I'm saying that is because I'm thinking it in my head. The only reason I'm saying that is because I'm asking myself that same question. Hey, you. I don't really, I love you. So as you can see, I'm not at home. I'm at the gym right now, which used to be this huge, like, uh, it was like this barrier to where when I walked out of the doors, I was good. Let's walk. I, I didn't really care. But walking into the gym, there was this huge stigma. I didn't want anybody to see me recording. I didn't want to record in the gym. Part of it is like, pr- like respect for other people because almost no matter what you do in the gym or how you record, you're going to catch somebody. Also, like I'm sitting in a squat rack right now. There's at least 30, 40 people in here. I don't want people to think I'm inconsiderate of their time, me just taking up the squat rack to video because that's not what I'm here for. However, a huge part of it was I didn't want people to see me as, you know, me think that I'm some kind of fitness influencer. You know, like, look at this guy. He's tiny and he thinks that he's, you know, going to teach somebody how to work out. In all reality, I'm not trying to teach anybody how to work out. I'm trying to talk about Jesus and vlog. But, it was this huge thing, and I don't. A couple of days ago, I just felt like God broke that thing. But it also led me into the conversation of where I, I just we have to talk about, like, where are we going to draw the line in the sand of insecurity? You know, if it's not for the little things, if I can't even film in the gym, what about people who walk up to me and ask me about Jesus in the gym? You know, where where's my heart and my posture going to be then? So we're on our way to church and I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here because honestly, God started talking to me in the gym. I started listening to some worship, which was a horrible idea, always ruins my workout. And God started talking to me about some stuff and I just want to wrap up the vlog because I just got a lot that God's talking to me about, but but it's not, it's not about the whole insecurity thing, but I feel like it would not be a very good vlog. I feel like it would not be a very good video or a very good topic if we didn't at least address for a split second what is the opposite side of that coin and how do we battle that and where does insecurity come from and all of that so in like 30 seconds or one minute here is the the kryptonite to insecurity is just having a a better understanding or understanding the value that god has put on your life better letting that be greater than any kind of idea of what other people may be thinking about you, how other people may see you. It's, it sounds basic. It may be basic to some people. It may be like a, a, a mind blown kind of moment, but if you understand how the creator of the universe feels about you, you wouldn't really be too concerned about what somebody working out next to you, how they feel about you or how, the person if there's like somebody who's driving a jeep wearing a blue shirt sitting next to you like you won't care what they think about you if you know did you get it i was talking about you okay so if in all in all seriousness and it, it simply if you know how god feels about you it makes what other people think about you feel about you it makes it just to where you just 
you don't even worry about it. And chances are, if we want to think about this logically, other people are way too busy with their own lives to really care about what you're doing. So a lot of times I feel like insecurity is just pointless in that fact as well. So maybe we'll touch on it more later. I feel like this probably deserves a lot longer, better of a conversation, but it's God's fault. Don't blame me. So we're going to me. I can't talk. We're going to end the vlog there. Launch out into the deep. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, the next day. We'll see you soon. It'll be soon-ish. Will you be vulnerable for the vlog, for the girl's perspective? Sure. What is your, as a girl, what's your biggest insecurity? Right now? Yeah. My, my body. Your body? Yeah, but that's because I've had two kids in three years, so. Two kids in two years. So my body is completely different. Yeah, makes sense.